What's up everybody? What's going on? I'm just finishing up a fishing trip out here in Flaming Gorge, Utah and I want to show you all the updates that I've done to the truck camper. By far the most popular video that I've made is the no build truck camper overview that I put together. I think people are looking for something very simplistic that they can put together, take apart, something very modular and easy to use. And that was my whole intention by putting that video together was just to show you that the barrier to entry to truck camping is very small. With very limited equipment you can turn your pick up into a truck camper even if it's a five and a half foot truck bed. Now I've been using this for the last three and a half months and I've made a few updates to the camper, changed things around a little bit, added a few things. So today I'm going to give you just a little bit of an update and walk through what I've done. Now I'm still using the soft topper with the DAC tent extension. The extension is because I only have a five and a half foot truck bed. So that gives me the ability to lay down the tailgate and have another foot and a half of space back there. I love the soft topper. I love how versatile it is. It gives us so many options when we're out camping. This pickup isn't my designated truck camper. So I needed something that would give me the best of both worlds. And I'm very, very happy with the soft topper. I made a full soft topper review video with cleaning and maintenance and all that. And I'll link that in the video and down in the description if you wanna check that out, if you're curious about the soft topper. One thing I just added are these mesh screens. I took some mosquito netting and added magnets. I need to tweak this just a little bit, but once I do and I get it dialed in, then I'll make a video about how I did that. It's a very simple, easy addition to your soft topper build, and it makes a huge difference when you're out here, especially under that black canvas. It gets really hot out here in the direct sunlight. So having some airflow through there and keeping the bugs out is huge. You can see a few new additions to the truck camper from the first video. The bedding's still the same. I'm still sleeping on this short cot. I think this is a four inch tall cot, but that allows me to sit in here and not have to duck my head. So if you're doing a no build truck camper, I highly recommend going with a shorter cot to give you that head space. My bedding is very simple. When it's cold out, I have a negative 20 degree bag. This is a 30 degree bag and then a down quilted a blanket that I keep on top of it. When it's really warm, especially during the summertime, I'll just sleep on top of the sleeping bag and underneath this blanket. I'm still using the foam gym flooring. I love this. It's so easy to take out if I need to remove it. It's just interlocking two foot by two foot pieces that comes apart super easy. They need to be cleaned right now, but they're very comfortable. It gives a nice layer of insulation. Very happy with that. Still using the cot organizer. This thing is key if you're doing a no build truck camper. Uh, all that storage there on the side is super nice. I used to have it on this side but that side got a little busy so i put it over here i actually like having it better on this side so i can get access to things during the night the water bottle I'll keep the keys and a book and all those types of things in there i put a little thermometer in there and a carbon monoxide detector keep a headlamp in there for at night this is really nice to just have a few things there on the side organized. Probably the biggest change that I made was this camp kitchen. If you haven't seen this before, this is the Camp Chef Sherpa kitchen table and organizer. I switched this mainly because I wanted to cook in the back of the camper and I was just using one of those 55 gallon totes that the lid would pop off of. And you just really can't cook with that. You're constantly pulling stuff out, taking the lid off. It becomes more of a hassle than anything. So I came across this and I've been super happy with it. The thing that I love about this is all the organization is in the front. These bags are completely full of all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna go through all that today. I made a designated review video and I walked through everything that I keep in here and I'll link that in the video and in the description as well. I cooked in here last night and it was perfect, but the legs also extend. You can take that out of the truck very easily and cook on the outside. So it gives you kind of the best of both worlds, an indoor outdoor kitchen, and it just organizes everything so nicely. I highly recommend this camp table and organizer if you're gonna be doing a no build truck camper. And you can tell that I keep the stove just up there on top. I just use bungees to strap down the griddle and the stove so it just stays right up on top there. You can see behind there, now when I'm driving, I take a bungee and I wrap around the sides and then I just attach that to the pickup so that it won't tip over. This bag that's here on the side is all my bigger utensils, knives, cutting board. I go through all that in the video of the camp kitchen organizer as well, if you want to see that. I generally keep this little Yeti back here with me. This stores ice really well, keeps things nice and cold. I keep the food that I'm going to cook with in here. If I'm doing longer trips, then I have a larger Yeti cooler that I keep in the back seat of the truck. And then I'll just kind of move items back and forth so that I always have a cooler in the back of the truck. I generally 
will throw my clothes just in this bag. This is a really nice organized bag to keep all my clothing in. If I'm doing longer trips, then I do have some storage bins that I'll put underneath the cot and shove underneath there to keep extra clothes in. But mainly for my overnight trips, uh, short term trips, then I just throw my clothes in that bag. I still use this little fan. This little guy's awesome. Definitely a must in the summertime to keep that cold air flowing. This one's really nice with the soft topper because it just has that clip and you can stick that anywhere and move that all the way around. This is a clip to hold a tablet. So generally when I'm going to go to bed, I'll turn a show on or something and relax here laying down with that tablet holder right out in front of me. Works awesome. I love this little one tigress table. It comes in handy a ton. Last night I sat in here and cooked and used this as my surface for my cutting board. Uh, then I ate in here, and then I actually came in here and tied some flies later on. So this table it just serves a ton of purposes. It's really nice because if I want to go outside and eat or do anything outside, I just pick it up and take it right out there. It's really easy. The nice thing about it is it has this basket underneath there. This is a bag that has all the Jackery cables in there, phone charger, all that kind of stuff. And then I keep the Jackery right down there. So I have a power source that I can plug everything into. Generally, I'll charge my iPhone, the GoPros, and now I have a light source plugged into it. I know in the first video I said I wasn't going to use a light source, but I came across this. It's an inflatable light bar that has a thousand lumens, so it's super bright back here. I just plug it into the Jackery. You can't really tell during the daytime, but that really lights up the truck at night. This was really cheap. Again, it's nice because it's inflatable, so I just deflate that and roll it up and can store it. You can hang that with Velcro, but it actually has some magnets there on the back. So I can take that off and then I just stick that back up there with the magnets. It's really easy. Everything in this truck camper is designed to just come apart really easily. In a matter of minutes, I can go from full truck camper to work truck. And I've made some videos showing that if you want to see on the truck camper playlist. So that's the few changes that I've made. Nothing drastic, but it really makes this thing really comfortable. I sleep great every time that I'm out in this thing. I really look forward to going out and camping in this. I love pulling up to spots like this right next to the water and just throwing down the tailgate and throwing on the tent and I'm ready to camp. It's been really convenient and really functional. So there you go everybody. Those are the changes that I've made. Again, it's very simple, very versatile, but very comfortable at the same time. I know there's a lot of people like myself that aren't full-time truck campers or don't have the time or the resources to put together a full truck camper build. Now there's a few extra steps that are involved, but it's very comfortable. It's very doable and still gives you that option to truck camp without some huge elaborate setup. For me in the stage that I'm at in my life right now, this is perfect. I love this thing. I love going out in it and I really look forward to these trips. I would much rather do this setup than come and try to find a, a tent campsite and have to find level ground and go through all that. So I hope this video helps somebody. If it, Even if one person takes something away from this, then it's been worth it. My intent with these videos is to just show you guys how simple and fun truck camping can really be. I really enjoy it. And I hope you guys can sense some of that fun and the excitement that I have about being in the outdoors. I love sharing that experience with other people, so I hope that that kind of resonates with you all. Now, if you want to see this truck camper in action, I put together a full playlist that you can watch. I'll do my best to link all these items in the description in case you want to check any of them out. Nothing but love and respect for everybody. I wish you all the best and many camping adventures in your future. If you guys enjoyed the video, then you know what to do. And if you want to see more truck camping, cooking, fishing videos, then hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to sign off. We'll see you all next time. Thanks everyone.